Hello everyone, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Hacking Raspberry Pi, a unique series, one of a kind, zero to hero series. All right guys, so in this lesson, I am going to show how to hook up, how to connect a CSI camera into your Raspberry Pi. So remember one thing guys, <coughs> we will be, you know, learning quite a lot of stuff about uh, the machine learning and artificial intelligence aspects by capturing images and videos through our CSI camera in Raspberry Pi. So that's going to be future lessons, right? But it's very important we do the proper testing and configuration of the camera from the basics at the beginning itself. So that's what you are going to learn in this lesson. So let me show you the way I connected uh, the camera. So if you look at here, you know, uh, keep the Raspberry Pi turned towards like this and then tilt, you can see there is a blue ribbon in the front, right? This is the CSI camera ribbon. The blue aspect should be towards the USB port. The blue side should be towards the USB port. Make a note of it, guys. This is very, very important. Sometimes people just put it the other way around and it doesn't work right that's not the way or sometimes you might end up spoiling your camera if you put it <coughs> you know upside down so make sure the blue ribbon blue band is towards facing towards your usb ports right and then you, you have to just remove this clip this black color clip you have to just remove it insert this particular white cable with the blue band facing towards usb and then press it tight okay make sure it doesn't come out so once you are ready with this right so this is the camera once you are ready with this let's do some testing <clears throat> now what we need to do let's connect into let me just connect into my raspberry pi remotely i think i am already connected there you go so now what we need to do let's see we need to open the terminal open the terminal let me do one thing okay let me open the terminal how do we open the terminal you need to go to this black window the terminal command window click on that you will get this window here you need to type r a s let me just paste it here I have the command ready with me. So this is what it is. RAS, R A S P I S T I L L. Okay. Space minus zero. That is your ha uh, hyphen uh, zero. Sorry, it's not zero. It's O. Okay. Space desktop. D should be in uppercase. Make a note of it. Uppercase. It's a case sensitive command lines forward slash image dot jpg so if we run this command ideally what should happen is camera should immediately get activated for a few seconds and you may not be able to see the video here because i am connected through vnc so if, when you are connected remotely you cannot see the video you have to be directly connected to your desktop uh, through the hdmi but what's going to happen is as soon as i enter this it's going to capture the image and it's going to save it on the desktop here so let's see if this works let me hit enter mm, nothing is happening okay something has happened there you go can you see guys i can see a image so let me see let me click here wow there you go this has captured my image sitting upside down that's because the camera is upside down okay so the camera seems to be working fine so let me show you once again let me delete this let me delete this image right click how to delete it right click move to thrash okay thrash so what you need to do first open the terminal okay once you open the terminal you need to type this particular command okay the command is called oops let me just pull the command give me a second 
I just saved all this command in one of my uh, documentation. I will be sharing this command, uh, you know, at the bottom of this video as well. And then paste it here. So the command line is R A S P I S T I L L space minus O space desktop forward slash image dot JPG. So you can see there is nothing on the desktop here, right? It's clean. As soon as I hit enter, this should execute the camera. Camera should capture the image for a few seconds and save it on the desktop, right? So that's what this does, this particular command does. But if you are connected to your monitor and keyboard directly through HDMI port, you can see the live uh, picture coming, the window popping up in front of you, but it's not possible on the VNC, which is okay, which is fine. So I'm going to hit enter and the camera seems to be running. Let's see. There you go. I was able to capture the image. Can you see the image has come up here? Cool. Now what I'm going to do, let me try to tilt the camera. Let me move this to thrash. Let me tilt the camera towards me. Okay. So let me show you what I am trying to do guys. So you can see the camera was like this, right? Which was facing towards me. I'm sitting. So it, it, it's kind of upside down. We can modify that upside down direction in, in our Python code itself. Currently I'm going to hold it like this so that it takes a still image. A perfect straight image so let me go in here let me go to the VNC and then I'm going to run this code run this command once again and there you go so we got the image let's check it up oh wow cool can you see it guys there you go this is where i am sitting now so the image seems to be cool all right so let me delete this move to thrash move to thrash yes now let's try to do something else so what we need to do let's try to resize the image now, how do we resize? I am going to give you another command. Let's see. So let me run this again and capture the image. And then we need to resize for that. There's going to be a separate command. I'm going to give it to you. There you go. The image is ready. Okay. So the image size currently, these are the pixel rates. So let's, let's see if we are able to resize it. So for resizing, this is the command raspi still space minus O desktop forward slash image minus small dot JPG space minus W that is the width 640 space minus h that is the height space 480 so this is the command you will be running so i am going to leave this command below this video description let's see what happens okay cool you can see one more image coming up here can you see this guys it's fantastic wow can you see this the image size has been restructured again right so this is the previous image. Let me close it. It's 640 to 480, which is 100%. The original image which was captured, it is here. This is the image, right? Which is 2592 into 1944, 22%. But after we ran this command to resize, right? This is the image you are getting. So we will be playing a lot with the videos resizing and image resizing and stuff like that because that's very important for the machine learning and artificial intelligence aspects from the image processing side. So 
guys so i hope you enjoyed uh, this lesson go ahead and start playing around with your uh, camera and uh, make sure that you practice this it's very important these are some basic stuffs you got to get hands on this is very very important i will see you soon goodbye